Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Dr. Tapadi's presentation. Today, topic of the presentation is assays of antioxidant properties in vitro and in vivo. My last video, I have discussed about uh, free radicals and antioxidants. I have discussed about various types of antioxidants. You should watch that video. Let's focus on today's discussion. The antioxidant property of a compound can be determined by its five main characteristics. First one is hydrogen or electron donating potential or reduction potential. Second one is fate of the resultant antioxidant derived radical compound. Third one is unpaired electron stabilization and delocalization capacity. Fourth is reactivity with other antioxidant compounds. And fifth one is the transition metal chelating potential. Numerous analytical techniques are available to measure the antioxidant property of samples obtained from food, plant or synthetic antioxidants. Above 19 in vitro and 10 in vivo methods are currently in use for the estimation of antioxidant properties of different samples. However, antioxidant activity must not be tested on the basis of a single method because uh, no single index is considered sufficient to determine total antioxidant property. In vitro assay methods can be classified into three groups. First one is assays by single electron transfer reaction or redox assays. Second one is assays involving hydrogen atom transfer reaction or free radical scavenging activity assays. And third one is other different assays. Single electron uh, transfer reaction can be three types. Uh, first one is uh, in this reaction, electron from antioxidant is transferred to uh, oxidant. And in, in this reaction, oxidant or sample is transferred to the uh, reduced uh, sample and uh, antioxidant is converted to oxidized antioxidant compound. So in this case, antioxidant is actually reducing the oxidant and uh, um, second type of reaction, in that case, antioxidant is giving electron to metal ions and metal ion is reduced by this type of antioxidant compounds. Now, examples of first category of reaction uh, are DPPS or uh, uh, diphenyl 1 picryl hydrazyl radi uh, radical scavenging property. Second one is TEAC that means Trolox equivalent antioxidant capacity or ABTS radical cation that means 2 to prime azinobase 3 ethyl benzothiazolene 6 sulfonic acid scavenging property. Examples of sec second categories, uh, second category are uh, first is uh, FRAP or ferric ion reducing antioxidant properties, copper uh, reduction capacity, TPC or total phenolic content acids by folin co reagent. Second category of in vitro acids that is acids involving hydrogen, remember hydrogen atom transfer reaction or HAT or free radical scavenging activity acids. In that case, most of the cases, hydrogen from antioxidant is transferred to radical compound and radical is transferred to, uh, radical is actually converted to non-radical compound by these type of, uh, these types of uh, antioxidants. Examples are ORAC means oxygen radical absorption capacity, TRAP means total radical trapping antioxidant parameter, IOU inhibited oxygen uptake, inhibition of linoleic acid oxidation, inhibition of LDL oxidation. ABTS radical uh, cation scavenging activity and DPPS radical scavenging property, these are coming under mixed taste. That means uh, the transfer of both hydrogen atom and, uh, and um, electron. Examples of other in vitro assays are oxygen radical anion scavenging capacity assay, hydroxyl radical scavenging property assay, H2O2 scavenging property assay, 
singlet oxygen scavenging capacity assay and peroxynitrile peroxynitrite uh, scavenging capacity assay all of these in vitro assays or analytical methods are based on color change occur due to chemical reactions so these are all uh, spectrophotometric methods let's know about uh, names of in vivo assays for the determination of antioxidant properties first of all repeat peroxidation assay ldl assay then glutathione peroxidation estimation reduced glutathione estimation superoxide dismutase assay method glutathione ace transferase assay method catalase activity assay gamma glutamyl transpeptide activity assay glutathione reductase assay and ferric reducing abilities of plasma in order to do all of those uh, in vivo assays samples to be tested for the antioxidant properties are usually administered to the testing animals like mice or rat at a definite doses but after a specific period of time the animals are usually sacrificed and blood or tissues are used for the in vivo assays among all the in vitro assays dppl radical scavenging property is most popular because this method is rapid simple and inexpensive in comparison to other test models abts radical cation scavenging property is applicable for both hydrophilic and lipophilic antioxidants among all the in vivo assay methods lipid peroxidation assay method is most popular again i want to mention that uh, various analytical methods are available to measure the antioxidant property but uh, antioxidant property must not be tested on the basis of single method because no single index is considered sufficient to determine the total antioxidant property of any sample if you think this video is helpful for you kindly like share and subscribe this channel